Hello, Courtney. Han på Hjelda. Ha, Ahoyonda. Ha. I've been having a technical difficulties with my Zoom. Finally got it to work right. Uh, so we'll see who uh, still is able to log in. Okay. So huh? I'm just finishing out. <laughs> They're cute. We just got back from um, Mount uh, Lawton and oh. it started raining when we got into town. Oh no. So, Yikes. Um, yeah. So stormy weather. I know it makes me sleepy. <laughs> yes, same here. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna um try to look for a recording while we're waiting. All right, uh, let's see. So I'm looking at the list. Courtney, do you remember if we uh, did this 176 Kiowa language yesterday and today? If we have what I remember, when I remember doing it, it's been a very long time. Okay, yeah. How about the how Kiowa's dress? No. I don't um I don't recall that one. Because I think there's a 174 to 176. I think that's like a series where they it seem it seems like they continue kind of the same discussion through those three. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. might be kind of interesting to uh to listen to because I don't yeah. remember doing the dressing one. Um so I'm just gonna play it and then we'll uh see <laughs> who joins us. Um, okay. Oh, I see uh, Miss Marion. Hey, Miss Marion. Yay. <laughs> oh, oh. Open the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Funny. Awesome. Uh, okay, so let me uh, uh, pull this one up. So we're going to uh, listen to this first one. There's a series of three recordings. I don't know how long they are, but uh Kiowa culture program number 174 and it says uh let me open it up here it says how Kiowa's dress yesterday is the is what it says so 
Um, let me see. Oh, this one, it says it's about 19, 20 minutes long. So, yeah. So we'll, and there's a series of three recordings uh, about, I guess, how Kaya was dressed yesterday and today. And then there's one, a continuation, it looks like, of Kiowa language yesterday and today. Hmm. So I guess we'll start with the uh, attire part and see what they say. So Miss Marion, you'll be our uh, interpreter for today. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, now I don't see the program, but I just see this page here. Yeah, I have to, to uh, yeah, I have to share my screen again. I have to share the sound. Oh, so oh. Let me oh. Press the right button here and, okay, it's loading. Okay, can everyone see that? Uh, no, I don't know what I'd be, but I'm not, I don't okay. see anything. <laughs> I guess it doesn't, it doesn't matter, I guess, as long as we hear. Ha, huh. well, let's see if you can hear it. So let me press play. Uh, yeah. Cool. yeah, right, okay. This is the Kiowa Culture Program, June the 4th, 1979. We are at the Witzelein Church. Our subject today is how the Kiowas dressed yesterday. Those present, George Coyadotti, James Silverhorn, Isabel Tuhatchet, Esther Topa, Margaret Danko, Guy Tampi, Stephen Zotai, Yale Spotted Bird, Louis Toibol, Vicky Botger, and myself, Bessie Ahady. And this morning we have with us our new director, Gus Palmer Jr. And uh, we will have our prayer this morning by James Silverhorn. Okay, can you hear that? Everyone hear it okay? Yeah. All right. So we haven't uh, done an opening prayer yet, so we'll uh, we'll use uh, Mr. Silverhorn's prayer here for our opening prayer. So. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, cool. Ah, cool. Da da boy, ka kii da da ka pai kii da 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 ki ka pui da ka da ka da ka da ka da ka da ก็ถ้าก้นปากิดให้ก็นึกเอาเยอะก็ทุกข์ก็บีตะเกตุซันปะกันเตเอ้ยตะซวนเตเกดอมะต้องเกเตมะปะเตอันเตปะทาเกเ
<clears throat> he just, um, you know, says, uh, you're the God is with us, and we respect um, our God, and uh, the older people, they wouldn't speak, and, and uh, today it's becoming more difficult because where the white people are coming in, and are, well, my minutes my days. But he says these are he's talking about God, the creator, these are your words that you gave to us. And he just says, Let us good for us. He's talking about this as Kiowa people, because he doesn't want us to forget. He had mentioned that when he said um we have these uh, more white people coming in to our lives so that's uh, I guess the essence what he, of his prayer oh uh -huh. was there were there any uh, particular phrases or words that you wanted to uh, point out for us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and be, he, he's talking about the elders. Be no, yet those on he might he, he's saying the elders would speak. Be no, yet those on he meant about the Kaiwa. He when he was talking about the ways of the Kaiwa, the culture, and then he's saying. Today, yeah, ma oi bay. Things are difficult. But he's given God the glory, and then he just says, Anto ya yan do, which means these are your words. And the other one was just, <clears throat> I guess, I get honde get um do. He says things will be better for us, and I <clears throat> and uh, to me he was referring to the fact that uh, the Kiowas continue to believe in their religion. And well, as I mentioned before, he had said uh, He says, oh. uh, you know, have respect, have respect for our religion. Oh. So mm -hmm. he was, you know, kind of mixing it up the way we're coming and they were going continually into the transition with the white people's ways and that he was referring back to how the elders would um, you know, want our culture to continue because of the other so this uh, changes and sometimes things are difficult but again, they have faith in the creator and oh. he says things will stay well, okay Uh -huh. So the phrases that you said, so you said, be da, get those on. The elders, because when you talk about the elders, that's another word for be da, be, it sounds like it was like a be, no, I say be, be a n, or be da. Be da. Oh. Yeah, be da, like that. It means, it means the elders. That's one of the words for the past. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then uh the and when you said uh these are your words, did you say an don ya ya da yan da? Yeah. Yeah. An don't ya. An don't ya. That means like your words. 
Nyan Dong means Nyan Dong. You know, we kind of speak backwards. Your words, Antogya. But the way he says it is Antogya Nyan Dong, which means these are your words. And he's talking about the Creator. Oh, Antogya Nyan Dong. Mm -hmm. Oh. I like to use that phrase when I sometimes say a prayer because it's saying doggy on dongya yando. It's you know when you're referred to for God. These are your words. Oh, that's beautiful. Awesome. Well, aho, Miss Marion. Um, let's see here. So that was the opening prayer by James Silverhorn. And uh, for anyone that just joined us, we are listening to the Kiowa Culture Program tape recording number 174. And it says, how Kiowa's dressed yesterday. So I guess that's their topic. And the date they said is coincidentally, June 4th, 1979. So it's kind of interesting because today's June 4th. <laughs> um, Okay, so now we're going to listen to the first speaker and let's see. Hopefully, they'll say who it is. Um, but I'll go ahead and press play. Ah, uh, cool. Louis Taibo. Kaigu. Anam Taita. Kaigu. Kaan. Ali Tawi. Honde. Aomi to Aya Abani Kohe go and our boy he lay. So good of you, get home. No one ate over. No show. Gilboy, no, I know the key. A go home, Joe, get on. A go, did I do it all get? Get on, Bob. George Quiet. Okay. So. He spoke really briefly. Uh, Miss Marion, would you be able to make any comments on what he said? To me, he was talking. He said, I didn't get the word like, um, like when you go someplace, so the Kiowas would go someplace. I ate my, oh, and he would say, and he was, to me, the word he said was referring to like shawls. And so I guess maybe he was referring to the women. He said, which means he meant they would, you know, wear shawls whenever they went someplace. And he didn't say specifically where, but whenever they went out, went someplace. And he said, said, yeah, no, me, which means I saw that. And then he says, um, to, and now it's like a uh, coy ways. And that was about the gist of what he said. Because it was always my understanding from the elders that I used would speak to, they would always take a shawl with them because it it became a time, like in the late 60s and 70s, I noticed the women didn't wear shawls as much as they used to because every time, each time, even my grandmother, well, she always did wear a shawl regardless. She was still with living then, she would always have a shawl and take the shawl with her, wear the shawl. It's like putting on a jacket, 
you know, mm -hmm. you wear that shawl and uh, it's, it was just a way, part of their way, tradition. And uh, some of the women, you know, they like to show off their beautiful shawls too. So, and <clears throat> that was just their thing. And so, like I'm saying, back close to the 70s, 70s and through there, I know there's people that don't wear them anymore. But the elders that I would talk to, they would always say, if someone called them to be in the dance circle or to have a give or gave them a gift or wanted to speak to them, the first thing they would do, if they didn't have a shawl, they would borrow it from someone sitting there and they would cover themselves before they walked across or in front of people. And so that's what, um, to me, this is what he was referring to. And it's like a, a respectful thing. And even when you went to town, they used to wear shawls. And you went shopping or you went wherever. And so then when he was speaking, I guess that might have been in the 70s. And he said, they don't do that anymore. Because oh, I just give him my point of view. Oh, oh, we appreciate that. That's really, really good to hear. I know I've heard uh, um, Grandma Dorothy would say that her her mom and her grandma would always tell her to uh, make sure she takes the shawl with her. Like, never leave home without your shawl. <laughs> you never know when you need it. <laughs> so that's uh that's important especially when you're going to uh you know meetings or whatever oh <clears throat> awesome well thank you uh let's see so that was uh mr louis toibo and i think they said the second speaker is going to be george uh George, how do you say, call you daddy? Uh, okay, so let's hear what he has to say then. Ah, uh, cool. Hey, daddy. Ah, cool, the kids get no zambre. Bon, don't get no one. I can't. Hit the tool, I can't. Go hit the big echo, Miss Anko. Sean, don't the Yanko get no zambre. Okay, now you No on key, get ordinary, all your bike, yeah. Ain't got a cost, it don't get time. And I eat, okay, I'll talk, get a toke, yeah, talk, talk, that's all. On the bed, the moon gets open, go get all come. Go for you, go, do he and get to the top of how to. Ain't got a cool beam car. And so the oil, but the other thing, the boy, say that, boy, boy. How they been to the top, because you have to get the oil, but the other thing, but the other thing, but the Okay, so he talked kind of briefly. Um, Miss Marion, I'll turn it over to you for any comments you'd like to share. You know, he said the same thing. I mean, well, not the same thing. George Quino, Quino. And um, he said, today you're talking. He said, everybody's talking today. And uh, uh, so I just wanted to he said people dress different ways. They get dressed up, you know, wear their whatever, you know, yeah. fix themselves up different different ways. And then he talked about I understood it to say him to say long ago they would wear their buckskin, you know, clothing or but he didn't make any more comment like that. I mean, further than that. And that he would say they all had their guru beam koi. 
which means they're uh, paint bags to paint their faces. And uh, he said, that's what I saw. And that's the end of that. Uh, he, he didn't mention the name of the one person. He also said he saw, saw him. And what he kept his, uh, or had those things such as the uh, guru beam koi, which it would translation would mean like paint back. Because the men did paint their faces with rouge. So that was very brief. Okay. Oh. Awesome. Well, that's good to know. So guru beam koi the paint, the bag to store their paint, their face paint. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let's see who the next speaker is then. Um, let's see, does anyone have any questions so far? All right. Okay, let's continue. Oh, cool. I'm Silverhorn. Ah, come on, come on, take it, come on, take it, don't you? Don't you go home, get in, get out, and echo, go, echo, what the hell, you can't. Oh, but then, you know, it's dark, and I'm a 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 dark, don't send them a car, you took a car over it. Told them to knock it out, told them to go and take it. Oh, you don't take a car, you have to go. Don't take more, go and get a car, you got a car, get 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 to it. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. Miss Marion, did you catch anything that he said that stood out to you? Um, he just talked about the same thing. They'd oi my doll, which means, you know, getting dressed up. And, and uh, the men. He's talked mostly about men, I guess. They would wear their, you know, moccasins. And they were well-dressed. And they uh, they took care of their things. They had, they had respect for, they had respect, you know, they took care of their clothing is what he's trying to say, or the items that they wore because they always looked. They look nice, they were, like you said, they were well dressed. But they also had their paint. And that was really brief. Oh. I wish I go back. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me. I think she, she just said the name of who the next speaker is. So let me go back a couple seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah, Isabel, too hot to. Okay, uh, cool. Hey, go. Air the key up, but yet to send my call. Call ye, the link, my you call ye, the oak. When I'm on, um, I'm good, yes, so what it does. I don't know that you don't go to Toby. Boy, you don't go to Mount Cody, you don't have to go to Mount Cody. The call, I don't know that you go to higher back or that you go to higher. I go to the back or that you go to the back. I go to the back or that you go to the back or that you go to the back or that you go to the back. Kau itu pergi ke so M tu, oh, ke Sandot atau ke Ekoi tu, tu dia kau itu pergi ke, ke so tu tu, 
Okay, she spoke really briefly also. Um, Ms. Marion, any comments on Isabel Tuhatchet? She talked about the shawl again, the women wearing the shawl when they go someplace. And um, uh, and she say, hey, but on the card or a Yido, which means they put it wear a shawl. And then she said, uh, uh, when you carry a child or there's a small child, you can always carry a child too on your, you know, and she's referring to, you know, how some of the women would put that shawl on their back, but they fixed it in such a way that they could carry like a small child on their back. And of course, that type of uh, carry a child is, you know, a carryover from the elder days. And, but uh, I saw my grandmother used to do that just sometimes carry one of my little brothers or sisters on her back. And she showed us how that was done. But she would just take a take something without the fringe to use uh, for that. But um, Isabel was just mentioning those things. And uh, it's basically the same thing that Louis had said. But then she added this about the child. Oh, well, that's interesting. I like that. Um, okay, let's see, uh, let me go back a couple seconds and we'll listen to the next speaker. Okay, aho, Miss Marion. Uh, let's see here, aho. Uh -huh. Mr. Topa. And it can go get us on higher on get over court on the get on my day. Don't get on pay get high go have a bite all your head go. So I may go on don't get the leg tack it or don't. Get so, quite all the get home, who they on key, I get good. Oh, wow. Yeah, I get a tart to get dog, but you did not don't it. Margaret Dank. Okay. For Esther Topa, Miss Marion, uh, you have any comments about her? speech? Well, she said, on key, I should talk about way back. She says, oh boy, don't get, get, don't. This is our old Kiowa language, our real Kiowa language. Oh, oh boy, don't get. And she meant what they're talking about. And uh, she said, time they get. Um, uh, I used to watch my grandmother. That's what she said. I saw my grandmother do these things. 
And then she said, they always wore a shawl. And that um, sometimes they wore it, you know, and I'm, I think she's referring to like wearing across the shoulders. And then she said, and then they would use it, a shawl too, as a pine, thong pine. Paul, thong pine, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Which mean that the, as an apron, you know, wrap it around the waist. And, uh, and then she said, sometimes when it was hot, then there's different kinds of uh, pot, yeah. Pot gas material. And they would uh, maybe sometimes use a lot, like she was referring, since it was on hot days, they would use a lighter fabric. That's why she brought that up. That was about it. Oh, aho. That's awesome. Um, Okay, let's see here. All right, let's listen to the next. I think she said it's Margaret Danka who's going to speak. Okay. Hey, okay. Come on. My you. Hi, I No. No, they thought, but no, I ain't getting don't get they chill. Call and not over ye though. But they call. I saw they hope gum say he call. And saw my pine. But they got saw they hope gum. Now you ban my chain gun, call out over ye. Oh, and call him a bomb. No, hey, ho, hey, go hang get the two of them. Go, my ee, my dude, papa, I saw hungry, go, you eat and hot, get the all two, the bound, go, they go, my so, go, they go, and in prime or in bar. Oh, you go, and oh, God, and go get sorted. No, hey, ah. Hey, I keep on my thing, he go and get out of the morning, go um, and caught, caught a ye dog or two. More dog, I am doggy go in and caught on pint, so only yard pop back. Got a gun, I keep on. So long, get sorted, though, my you, I saw um. I get this out of the town. How you ban my chain? What I get him oil butter. They hold on call him about me. Can I avoid it? Okay, uh, for Margaret Denka, uh, Miss Marion, would you like to make any comments? She said. <laughs> Um, oh boy. Uh, oh boy. But um, when people get dressed up, get dull, uh, she means I saw that. And, uh, boy, I need, uh, they always wore covered like a cloth shawl. And start eight huh? So they're sometimes tied around their waist. And uh, she said, "It's true." Call eight, which means they always wore a shawl, and uh, always tied this too, like she said, around the waist, eight pine. Oh. And then she said the other thing they use that for is like, oh, uh, yeah, eight. And I'm trying to say wood, key, eat, eat, 
And they go after wood. And they would, um, you know, wear this uh, covering, but they also used it to, uh, for their job because they would carry that wood back, you know, to kind of wrap it in that and carry it over their shoulders, carry that wood in that cloth, take it back. But she said they were, um, That is a true thing and how they use their um, this material and the and how and why they wore these wrappings, you know, because it served many purposes. But she says the women were real very uh, industrious. They were good workers. Oh. And we know that. <laughs> oh, we do. <laughs> they still are. They still are. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's used for different purposes. You know, like one just she said to carry a child. I forgot to mention that. But she also said like when they went out for wood and you've probably seen pictures of you know some women carrying wood back oh but purposes for having yeah uh, that either you know for the deer skin ages ago and now they used fat. They used fabrics. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Thank you. Um. Okay. Let's uh see who's the next speaker here. Guy. <laughs> Yeah, Demekokia Ah, <laughs> Oh, 
Hunde kokiamo, se cose sono sotto i 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 sotto The one Okay. Uh, Miss Marion, would you like to make any comments? He just, well, it's almost the same thing that the others had had said. He's talking about uh, today. They're talking about the uh, clothing. He's talking about can he hold a uh, uh, man's clothing? And okay, he said talking about the eight oil my thaw, which means you know fixing themselves up, and uh, we're getting. Getting ready or preparing oneself. Get oi. Oi, my thought. That's what it means. Yes. You can say that in different ways. Preparing, getting ready. When people tell you about oi, my thought, it means go in there and get ready. Get yourself together. <laughs> and and uh, this is what they're talking about. He said, uh, the men used to wear. Um, sometimes leggings called who, and uh, whenever, like he said, hi, Panma, which means wherever they were going, and uh, get oil, but uh, they, they would get ready. And long ago, the men, like he said, they wore leggings and then they also wore moccasins and uh, they call them tokoi tode, which means moccasins. And get top, he said, I saw this. And he uh, got eight uh, all me, which means well, they, they prepared themselves. And he just said, sometimes there's, and he mentioned the women too. Would also, you know, prepare themselves, but he didn't go into details about their clothing. And he said, Yes, oh, oh. he met the people that were in the days back, but because they had to prepare all these different types of uh, their clothing, like the moccasins and the leggings and whatever they used. And uh, he closed right there because he's saying Gesa. He meant Gesa on, which he was just covering the whole batch of people he's talking about and saying they were all good workers, industrious. They knew how to do things. That, that really covers a lot when you say Gesa on because they were good workers. Oh. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that yes, saw on. We've uh, we've heard them say that before too. I think. Yes. Yeah, that's what <laughs> almost each one of them would say. I just saw. On, oh. Which there were many, but each one of them they knew how to do this. had talent. Industrious, ingenious, creative. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. Um, okay. Well, let's play the next speaker, see who it is. Uh, okay. Eko kira do de ko kya to san mai ko on kya ya na o bato do kya yo 
Okay, so Stephen Zotai uh, spoke pretty quickly, um, briefly. Uh, Miss Marion, would you like to make any comments? Well, he didn't speak really fast. <laughs> and um, yeah, oh boy, you know, it means it's real, it's true. And um, he kept referring to time, yeah, and I think he's probably referring to maybe buckskin and um but he's saying that they actually did they made everything their own shoes and referring to the moccasins and, shoes. and uh, he said i saw all this and it's real <laughs> that's about the just of that his statement was very brief oh <laughs> uh -huh. all right uh let's see i think they just said the next speaker okay we'll play the next speaker then let's talk about uh go away go Come on, 
Okay, looks like that was the end of the tape. You was the last speaker. So Miss Marion, would you like to make any comments on what he shared? He said, um, um cool. oh, on key or you tell them. He didn't know how them how they do it. He had so many things way in the past because he can always speak about what he has seen. And um, he said he knows that in the past that uh, they made everything that they had. They own, they get all they. And uh, he would, you know, he. They just make things the the way they knew how to make them. How you like all they, and also in their hunting, and um, the the women, women again. He says, you know, they knew how to do many things, and um, they always did use, as he mentioned before, use the covering like. He would call it a, a doe. They always wore like a covering, like a shawl. And as I said, if it was done back in the olden days, it's probably soft deer skin that they wore as a covering on their shoulders. And so uh, that's what they that's what they call it, like a shawl. And then today, he's, he says, um, whenever they get ready. Aim oy but all. And uh, the, the ma'i, the women, the girls, and, and uh, they put their things together and they look nice, beautiful. Uh, yeah, there. <clears throat> they look uh, yeah, when they put their things together. Aim oy but I get so. And um, the young men too, they would get themselves prepared in their finery and they prepared their hair, braided their hair. And um, so he just ended with a, another statement that as he 
and before that, that they always wore the shawl the women did especially some of the uh, more mature women but twice he mentioned about how beautiful the women looked when they especially the young girls when they nowadays when they are dressed up they, whenever they ain't boy but oh uh, Get, them home. get get themselves dressed up and beautified. Okay, that was it. Oh, uh -oh. yeah, he spoke for a little bit there, so that's good. Um, it's really helpful. Thank you so much, Ms. Marion, for uh, interpreting for us. Um, that's, so it looks like that's the end of that recording. Um, and so that was Kiowa Culture Program, uh, tape number 174, and it says how Kiowa is dressed yesterday. So very, uh, very informative and really helpful. Um, well, there's quite a few little words, you know, that could be gone over, but, you know, it's just. I just, uh, okay, I just thought, well, we'll probably come across the same words later. Okay, uh, my... this, it sounds like this recording, I'll, I'll make a note um, that maybe this would be one that we could uh, transcribe, like word for word, um, because so we can get those, uh, those words about the different uh, clothing about the different um, items that they wore and what they're called. Uh, it seems like this would be helpful with uh, some of that vocabulary. So I'm going to make a note of that. Um, Many of them repeated the same words, but then the you have to go through everything to really, you know, find uh, some of the um, words for, like the apron and, oh. and for the uh, how to carry. Well, it's a it's a, it's a good study. Yeah, yeah. It's I think it's it's really interesting and it's always uh, helpful to learn that you know vocabulary because. You know, some of those, a lot of those items we still wear today. So it's oh, yeah. good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Well, uh, let, let's see. Yeah, I think that's a, that's our time for today. Um, mm. So next, uh, next week we can listen to the next recording, uh, which is, I guess, a continuation of uh, uh, it's uh, Kiowa culture program number 175. And it says how Kiowa is dressed yesterday and today. So, and it looks like it's about 20, 28 minutes long, the next one. Um, so that should be interesting next week to see what they uh, discuss. Um, so that wraps this up. Does anyone have any questions before we close up? All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining. Uh, let's see, uh, Miss Marion, are you able to, uh, can you bait outside? Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey, you time dog. Yeah, dog. Hi, dog. I'm dog. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm on the Android sun. Go, get going, dog. And we saw the goy, saw the hey goy, sun goy, goy dog. Mohe, dog. Get out of here. Dog goy dog. Yeah, eight day. Yeah, dog. Eight more hang more. They hungry get peak ya on get go and go.
Hang on, get sun, get it off. Sang, sang. Hang on, I sang. Oh, boy, 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 they all go. The tide of the dog, hey, go. I'm Beto, they don't suck the lake, he dumb and dog, he go. Oh, so much. The tide of go. Dorothy and Martha and Dolores. They tied them. They hold they. They tied them. They dog go. On they own they. They dog go. My own they dog go. They go licking on the egg. And they go. Son of a. They depend on these women more. So they tie them. So eight day home, they get boy, get dogs, go to 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 go go to 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 go go to go to go to go they don't suck on them. They want to get tired of them. They don't. Don't tie them, don't keep them. Got tired of them. They go, they don't, they sound or hate them. They don't hate them. They don't hate them. They don't hate them. Get tired of them. They don't. I'm bailed on them. They don't suck them. Oh, they don't keep them. They don't keep them. They don't keep them. They don't keep them. I hold it all key. Through your son, Jesus Christ's name, I will be done. Amen. Amen. Oh. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. With that, mm -hmm. I hope uh, Miss Marion will be meeting on Wednesday, too, uh, this Wednesday. So uh, if you're uh, able to join us uh, then. Um, and otherwise, we'll yeah. see everyone. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll see oh. everyone next uh, oh, okay. next Sunday. Next Sunday. Oh. Hey, hey, ba oi ton ta ta. Hey, ba oi ba. Oh. Oh.